in Missouri, we are used to tornadoes, floods, and even blizzards. But earthquakes? Between December 1811 and February 1812, southeastern Missouri and northeastern Arkansas in the New Madrid Seismic Zone experienced four major earthquakes. This series of earthquakes each measured over 7.0. University of Missouri seismologist Dr. Eric Sandoval says a strong earthquake in mid-Missouri is unlikely. However, another strong one in southeastern Missouri, like those in 1811 and 1812, are possible, and we would feel it. If that happened, if we had another repeat of the events like we had 200 years ago, uh, we would certainly feel the impacts here. In fact, the Oklahoma City earthquake, which was a magnitude 5.6, was felt here. Uh, the real question is how strongly would we feel? Would there be damage? I don't think you would see catastrophic damage. What you would see is potentially some damage to buildings, cracks, and foundations. Uh, probably a real worry would be bridges, uh, bridges that are, cut, that are spanning the Missouri River. So, is Missouri due for another large earthquake? Dr. Sandoval says there are many different opinions to that question. There are actually legitimate seismologists and scientists who, who hold, hold both views. Uh, and my view is I don't think we know. I think that it's difficult when we don't even understand the physics and the origin of these intraplate earthquakes. It's really difficult to judge whether we really are overdue, whether this process has sort of worked its way out and Peter, you know, kind of finished. I asked students on MU's campus if they were concerned about earthquakes. Um, not necessarily earthquakes. Uh, growing up in Chicago, we didn't really have any problems with earthquakes. I know it's a bigger, bigger problem out in California, especially with the fault line and all. Um, but no, it's not really keeping me up at night. I actually don't worry about them at all just because I haven't really heard about them happening around here very much. Dr. Sandoval tells me we are unable and may never be able to fully predict earthquakes. The best scientists can do right now is give a percent probability that one will occur in the next 50 years. In Jefferson City, meteorologist Dan Ebner, KRCG 13 News.